Hello and what is up YouTube? This is SlayerBlade420 coming at you. Uh, I was just doing this video to update my subscribers because I know I'm climbing as I can see. Well, at the first 100 subscribers, I will be simply doing a couple free account giveaways. Simply. But as soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I will be giving away one of these four video games. I'm unaware of which video game it is at the moment. The only reason I have these discs is because I want to play them off of my custom firmware, on my official firmware. But since the CID, um, the CID situation of the online custom firmware users has been escalating to an easier time now, and I would like to just start to say that if, as soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I will be giving away one of these games. Now, 100 subscribers, there will be 10 free accounts. 200, there will be 15 free accounts given out of that mark. At 300 subscribers, I will be giving out 4 physically given... No. I don't know what the fuck I said that for. Uh, I'll be giving out 4 modded Ghost GTA MW3 and what you call it? World of War MW2. You'll have all... And I will be making the accounts and modding them and then giving you the information to sign into the accounts, yes. And I will be deleting the information myself off my computer. So if you want to have a chance in this competition, yes it is a competition, you need to get as many people as you can to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and you will see the results of once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll blow your guys' mind away with what I'll be giving away. So yeah, that was yeah the Mooktown Edition 2025, it's pretty nice. Now I'm just going to bring you over here to my PlayStation to show off some stuff to do with this. Yes, I'm on Dex Firmware. Now I'll show you I'm banned. I am banned right now. So you can see. Well, I may as well just go offline then. Can't do anything. Show you what I can do with my trophies. 27. One, one. Now watch this. I go into GTA V. In trophy unlock. In trophy unlock. Yes, I can do this, and for this service, I will be posting a price. I'll be doing this for all people's accounts, and I'll be syncing them as well. For yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal for the price you're gonna be charging. As you can see, their hidden trophies being unlocked. I'm holding this with one hand and the other, so. You cleaned out my salinity, pay back Martin Hernandez to die on the last time complete the final mission. Alright, so yeah, I can do all that. As you can see, it's up to 35% right there. I have these. This is how I get online on my 4.46, and I don't ban console IDs. They're usually banned by the people that are also using them. So, what I do is I use my custom reboot, rebug toolbox, custom app, homebrew, and then you go up to PS3 manager, PS3 ITA manager via 140, working great for console ID changing. And then you just use PS4 nin PS Ninja V4. And that will spoof your system calls and everything to get you online. Here are all the package files I have. That one I don't like right here because it doesn't work too well. That one is a very useful one. Call them Genial Master. It really only manages everything. Multi man, I'll show you guys this one. It is working on my Dex 4.46 online right now. This is how I play Call of Duty Ghost Grand Theft Auto 5 and W3 and Black Ops 2. When I play Black Ops 2, I don't mod, I just go on there without the modded e boot or anything. As you can see, I have MW3, Call of Duty Ghost, Black Ops 2, Grand Theft Auto 5. Install package files is a better version. You can install bigger package files than normal. As you can see, I also have the working. Um, it's multi man. I'll show off one more that's quite new to the custom firmware scene. I don't think it's been released lately, it's been released very shortly. Okay. Okay. That would be this one right here. 
This allows you to real-time mod on your custom firmware CEX PlayStation. Yes, indeed. See? Con console control is in the detector firmware 446 deck. Game features real-time memory editing on CEX, CDX. Debugging non f cell Peak poke level 1, 2 over network. VHS module loading. Press OK. Continue. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is go, no, because I've already installed it. You'd want to install it. Now, if you have a request for any of the package files you see on my PlayStation, I might be intrigued in uploading them. If I can get a couple comments on the video saying, please upload them, I will most likely take a look. Another one here is really nice. Showtime access. lets me have access to Blu-ray drive to copy movies and stuff over here. And then I copy them on the USB over my official... And as you can see, I have debug settings. This is in debug setting mode, too. And everything's working on it. And update server. It's been fixed so that when you go to a system update, you can't be update the internet. So you don't have to worry about that pesky auto updating. 320 or later can be installed in the system. Mm -hmm. And I can downgrade it. I've downgraded many times to 3.55. Very easy. All you need to use is Rebug Toolbox. This video is strictly for showing purposes only. This is showing what my PlayStation is capable of. Uh, I've had a lot of people question my capability. So you can see I'm on 446 DEX. Boot other OS. All this works. System mode rebug. DEX. Saw that. Lovely stuff. Patch level 1 peek and poke support. Yes. Enabled. Patch level 2 memory protection disabled because you have to do some things when you're using it for some things. And then all that. Extract all package types. I can enable that. See? Enabled. Sorry, my mind is wandering to the marijuana I'm about to smoke. Anyway, so what we're going to do is come down here to install Guest OS Loader. And it's very wonderful, that's for PlayStation 2 discs. Now, here is what I did. I'm about to swap to CEX in front of you. All I need is my Bart Simpson. Wedge him up in the shit. Unplug the camera in my thing. Now as you can see the system is restarting in the CEX mode. It's already rebooted. Now all I have to do is simply boot this shit up, right? The PlayStation button on my controller. Blow that shit up. Go into Rebug Toolbox. Now I need to rewrite the target ID to the CEX. And it'll be fully converted to CEX from DEX. And I'll be doing it back to DEX later, of course. If I want to. I might not. I don't know. It depends. God damn it, it's on my computer. Oh well. I'll do the rest of that later, but to show you I've already done half it. Hey, like that. I don't give a fuck. Alright.
But anyway, I hope you hit the like button, comment, rate, and subscribe positively. And yeah, now my custom firmware is on CEX Target 2 level. Just gonna go to my computer. Mm. Now, if I do this on the CEX version. What will happen is those will save, and I just go back over to DX and load it up online. Alright, I hope you all enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to comment. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye. Dun 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 dun. Who will be the winner of one of these amazing video games that I have put many hours in playing and have taken very well care of? None of these discs are scratched, they are all in pristine condition. The only thing you might find is a bit of marijuana residue on the game case, but who gives a fuck? Like, comment, and subscribe away until one of those is yours. And yes, the video game on the disc, on this one, this one, and this one are all modded. Troll art. Troll art. Troll art.